it is extremely important before your chemistry exams you know how to do relative atomic mass and how to calculate empirical formula if you don't you're gonna be missing out on easy marks okay now I've gone across whilst the mocks mock exams are going on or just end of module tests or whatever and I've seen students looking at me how do you do this let's have a look at this question in an experiment to determine the empirical formula for calcium oxide 1.05 g of calcium co combined with 0.42 g of oxygen it says calculate the empirical formula of calcium oxide show you working i'm going to show you how i would work it out step by step pause the video see if you can do it first if not i'll go over it step by step now the first thing is you want to look at that question you want to do 1.05 grams which is the amount of calcium you want to divide it by 40 because that is the relative atomic mass of calcium it's in the question and the answer is 0.026 okay fantastic that's step one now the next thing a teacher would do is of course step two i would get oxygen uh, and it's 0.42 grams divided by 16 because that's a relative atomic mass and the answer is 0.026 brilliant now the next step is to work out the ratios of what you've got the ratio is one to one because they're the same and then the last thing i need to do is empirical formula is c is c is o or calcium oxide and the reason why i'm not putting any numbers on is because one you don't need to put a number on if it's two then you do need to put a number on so that's a very very quick three mark answer I've just got in the exam okay i hope you understood how to do that so sometimes the ratio could be three to one four to one four to two whatever right then get it down to the simplest ratio and then write the answer. Right, let's have a look now at relative atomic mass. Can you work this out? Pause the video. Chlorine, work out the relative atomic mass of chlorine. They could give you two numbers, 35 and 37, which are isotopes. Okay, these are the isotopes of chlorine. I would like you to work out the relative atomic mass. I'll show you how I'd work it out. Okay, it's very, very simple. Okay, do 35 times by 75. Do 37 times by 25 times them add them up and then divide by 100 and the answer is 35.5 it's another extremely important task for you to do to work out relative atomic mass it's very important you're going to be missing out let's have a look and and do these two as well pause the video see if you can work it out lithium and copper let's start with lithium lithium exists obviously in a, an, as an isotope Li. Okay, let's have a look how I'd work this out. The first thing I do is 6 times 7.6. I do 7 times 92.4. I'd get the answers and then plus them. So I'd plus 45.6 plus 6, 646.8. I'd get 692.4. Divide by 100 and the RAM of lithium or relative atomic mass is 6.9. Now, let's have a look at copper. Copper, I'll do 63 times 70, which is 4,410. 65 times 30 as 1,950. 1,950 plus 4,410 is 6,360. Divide that by 100 and the answer is 63.60. It's so easy. Calculate the percentage, right? With the large number, okay? With the larger number on the element, add them up 